Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Speaker. I'm honoured to rise today to speak in favour of Bill 67, and I want to thank the member from Kitchener Centre for bringing such an important and thoughtful bill to this House. Systemic racism exists in all institutions in our society, and it's shameful that in 2022, Ontarians who belong to racialized communities continue to face racism and microaggressions within our schools. It's essential that we do whatever we can to work towards a society where racism no longer exists, where racial equity is the status quo. An anti-racist society will require institutional and systemic change, and it makes sense that it starts within our educational institutes as the cornerstones of building and shaping the, thinker, the thinkers, the creators, the leaders of tomorrow, our children, Speaker. And that's exactly why anti-racist education should be taught, must be taught. It is critical that we address the rising levels of white supremacy and hate in our society. And I appreciate the member from Kitchener Centre talking about the importance of love and compassion in addressing hate. And her words reminded me of one of my favorite Martin Luther King speeches. So I quickly looked it up, and this was a speech in support of the Voting Rights Act. And I apologize for the gendered language. Um, it may be true that the law cannot change the heart, but it can restrain the heartless. It may be true that the law can't make a man love me, but it can, retrain, it can restrain him from lynching me. So while the law may not change the hearts of men, it does change the habits of men. And when you change the habits of men, pretty soon the attitudes and the hearts will be changed. Speaker, I believe this bill is a positive step in changing the hearts and habits of the people in this province, and I want to thank the member for Kitchener Centre for giving us the opportunity to support this important piece of legislation. Yeah.